Hi, I'm Will Knauer, a museum educator at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art, and this is Bridging the Gap, a series of digital art engagements. In this segment, we will be looking at Yield by Roxy Payne. It will be helpful to have paper and something to write with to respond to the prompts in the video. Please pause the video to collect what you need. Before we get started discussing this work of art, let's take a few moments to look closely at it. Start by letting your eyes wander around the work of art, taking notice of some of the details, such as the colors the artist is using and objects you recognize. Please pause the video to give yourself a few moments to look. As guests drive up the entryway of Crystal Bridges Museum, they find themselves greeted with the sight of what appears to be a large metallic tree. This attention-grabbing sculpture by the artist Roxy Payne is titled Yield, and while it may at first glance appear to be a metal sculpture of a tree, it in fact can be so much more. This tree-like sculpture that Roxy Payne has created is part of a series of sculptures that he calls dendroids, spelled D-E-N-D-R-O-I-D-S. What is a dendroid, you might be wondering? Well, the word dendroid is actually a Greek word that means branching. What's great about the word branching is that it doesn't only have to do with tree branches. Other examples of branching can be the roots of trees, the complex design of our nervous system, or even a concept such as branching out with your hobbies and trying something new, like creating dendroids. Roxy Payne uses this concept of branching out in his sculptures to encourage audiences to think about various forms of connection. I wonder what types of connections you might be making or thinking about while looking at this sculpture. Perhaps the size of Roxy Payne's sculptures will affect the types of connections you are thinking of. Take the size of Yield, for example. It stands almost 50 feet tall, welcoming viewers from far and wide to consider it. How different would it seem if it was smaller than us, instead of being something that we can look up at and explore? Would you connect it less to the idea of a tree if it was smaller? And if it isn't a tree, what are its branches reaching out to connect to? It's great to think that everyone can have different ideas about this. In an effort to challenge our thoughts on dendroids even further, Roxy Payne uses gray, smooth, stainless steel pipes and rods for branches. The surface of this smooth steel is incredibly reflective, like a mirror, causing the sculpture to take on the appearance and the colors of the nature and the world around it. In fact, if you were to walk up to it, you would even find yourself on the surface of the dendroid, staring right back at you. This also means that this sculpture will never look exactly the same twice, since weather conditions are different every day, and this sculpture relies on the world around it to add to its look, feel, and appearance. Something else that will greatly affect how we think about this sculpture is its location. Yield is outdoors, sitting alone on a small island of grass, with real trees not far off. This process of seeing a man-made object in nature creates a powerful conversation about similarities, differences, and the unity of nature and technology. For many, Roxy Payne's sculptures look like a large tree. However, the interpretation of this object is open for viewers to use to make new connections. Take a moment to think, what else does this piece remind you of? What do you think this object could be? Another important element of this artwork is considering the space where it is located. Roxy Payne's artworks are often able to be seen by large audiences and open spaces based on the size and scale. Yield is an artwork that encourages us to see the connection and beauty of all things. Imagine that you are the sculpture Yield. What is it like to be an object that takes on the appearance of the world around it? What are you reaching towards with your branches? Do you wonder what you actually are? A tree? A concept? An artwork? Please write a short poem of any style from the viewpoint of yield. Thank you for watching. This has been Bridging the Gap from Crystal Bridges.